Hey everyone, this is going to be a tutorial on how to take a 3D printed object, mold it in silicone, and then cast it in resin. I wanted to do this because the 3D prints that I usually use usually have the little like, you know, 3D printed lines on them and the plastic we use is not good for removing those lines. So I wanted a smoother surface and add some LEDs. So I thought, why not do this? Okay. Let's go. First thing you will need is your 3D printed object. Then you'll need the silicone you'll be using. I'm using Smoothon Umu uh, 30. I think Umu is how you say it, I'm not really sure. Then you'll need a hot glue gun. Also some foam core board. You'll also need something to stir your resin in and a stick to stir it all with. A knife, this is an X-Acto knife. Your resin, I'm using Easy, Ca Easy Class Clear Resin. I'm also using some LEDs for my project. If you want to paint your object, this is acrylic paint, rub and buff, and nail polish. First thing you're going to want to do is build your foam core mold for your silicone. I am using a flat square base and then building uh, four walls around it and securing the four walls with hot glue. The height of it is a little bit above the nose there, so I have enough room um, to obviously have space for my object. I did leave a lot of space around the edges for my object, which I, which I didn't have to do. Um, it's definitely a little bit of waste of silicone, but I was being a little paranoid, so, so I wanted to have enough room for everything. But you can definitely build your um, foam core walls closer to your object than I did. Next, you're gonna wanna glue your object to the base of the foam core. This is so the object won't move around when you pour your silicone in. Then you're gonna wanna mix your silicone. The Umu 30 is one to one, so it makes it really easy when measuring the parts A and B. You're gonna wanna mix it really good. It's gonna make it feel like your arm's gonna fall off because it takes a while to mix. Then you're gonna pour it into the molds. The mold is very easily removable from the foam core, as you can see. Next thing I did was kind of trim some of the edges off that didn't really need to be there. I also cut into the side of the silicone uh, mold a zigzag line, and I'll explain a little bit about that in a second. I also cut the very bottom, um, the outline of the base of my 3D printed object just to make it easier to push it out of the silicone. Back to the side zigzag. This is, I made this to a like for a secondary reason to make it easier to push out of the silicone. Objects can be kind of hard to get out. This gives it a little bit more leeway. Uh, the zigzag is so um, it can fit back together like a puzzle piece. I think if it was just a straight line, it wouldn't fit back together perfectly. And then you might have some problems with the resin. Next up, you're gonna wanna mix your resin. The easy cast I'm using is also one-to-one, -one, making it really easy. Smooth On also has a resin, a clear resin that you can use. Uh, it does dry really quickly though, so you're gonna wanna work fast. The easy cast I'm using does take a while to dry, so I had a lot of, a lot of time. Then you're gonna pour it into your silicone mold. Make sure every part is even and nicely filled. After about an hour, I stuck the LEDs in uh, to the eye area where I wanted them to light up. This is a consistency where it's kind of gummy, so it holds the LEDs, but it's obviously not fully dry yet. After your resin has dried, this one took 24 hours, you can push it out. Again, the zigzag area kind of helps with that. This is the comparison of the 3D printed object on the right and the resin cast on the left before sanding. Here's also a quick preview of the LEDs in the 3D, in the uh, resin cast. Um, the blue that you see behind is just tape to help me hold the batteries in. Next, you're gonna wanna sand your object. Now it's time to paint. I'm using the nail polish method just for the eyes on the back, just to make the redness of the eyes really pop. Then I'm using just black acrylic paint for the overall base paint of this object. 
Then I used Rub and Buff. I love Rub and Buff and I think it will give it that like shine that I want it to have. This is black Rub and Buff. It's mostly black, but it does give off like a silverish shine um, in the light, which I really like. Since this object is so small when I'm buffing, um, I'm just using like mini paper towels and Q-tips just to get those really fine areas. And here is the final result. As you can see, uh, the 3D printed object is on the right. The resin cast with paint and LED is on the left. And the silicone mold for you to see is on the bottom. I actually really liked doing this project. It was my first time using silicone and I was really happy with how it turned out and how easy it was. I thought it was gonna be hard for some reason. I would highly suggest anyone try this, even if they're a little scared. Um, it was actually really fun. If you guys have any questions, uh, I will try to answer them in the comments below. I hoped this helped some of you uh, with your silicone or resin casting process. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>